For the Interrobang, I'm Hannah Theodore. Here's what's making news this week at Fanshawe. Fanshawe has been granted its student visa allocation for 2024, and for now, it looks like things won't be changing. In a recent virtual town hall, Fanshawe President Peter Devlin announced that in spite of the government's nationwide cap on international students, Fanshawe has been permitted just under 11,000 permits for 2024, largely unchanged from the year before. That's about a 55-45 international domestic student ratio. Devlin emphasized the province's focus on priority programs like ECD, hospitality, health and STEM, while also implementing a two-year moratorium on certain one-year business programs for international students. While some part-time faculty and staff may be affected, Fanshawe plans to review program needs and hiring requirements for the fall 2024 semester. The college is anticipating that it will receive roughly $4 to $5 million of the Ontario government's $1.2 billion stabilization fund. The Fanshawe Student Union celebrated the 2024 Fanshawe Fuel Esports Awards on April 12th. The awards night honored players' skill and the FSU's vibrant gaming community. Esports coordinator Tyler Hetherington highlights the program's growth with Fuel now having 24 teams competing in 15 game titles. With the rise of online platforms like Twitch, gaming has become a global passion, fostering connections among players worldwide. Award winners expressed gratitude for the FSU's support in cultivating the gaming community at Fanshawe. The Forest City London Music Awards are back and voting for the event is open right now. Fanshawe Student Union graphic designer Darla Stratton's band Swagger is nominated for the fan favorite band category, marking another milestone in their 11-year journey. FCLMA uh, founder Mario Sercelli emphasizes the event's importance in celebrating local talent and encouraging emerging artists. Over 60,000 votes were received last year, and voting for this year's nominations remains open until April 30th. That wraps up another video news roundup. Be sure to pick up the latest copy of Interabang on newsstands right now, and be sure to pick up your copy of The Navigator, also now on newsstands. Check out our Twitter account and our YouTube channel for all the latest stories, and subscribe to our newsletter to keep up with all things Fanshawe. For The Interabang, I'm Hannah Theodore.